Okay, so I noticed on some older iPads, it is an iPad 2, it is an old iPad. I think the iPad 3 is the same. There's certain software such as Netflix and YouTube, which you can't install on here anymore, which is a pain because I've wiped this iPad and I wanted to use it in the kitchen to view Netflix stuff, and now I can't. But there is a workaround. So if we go into the App Store, and it's loading. Now if we search for Netflix or YouTube up here, it'll come up with an error. Well, it'll, it'll go to those apps and then it'll basically say, this iPad isn't compatible. So what we need to do, see right down here where it says purchased. So we go to purchase, as long as we've actually bought these apps in the past under this Apple ID login, then we will be able to install all the versions on this iPad, iPad 2, and get them all running. So you can either just scroll down and find Netflix, find YouTube, whatever you want, or over here, see, search purchased apps. So we click on that. Click on it again, there you go. So we say Netflix, for example. Netflix, there's Netflix, so click. And it basically says, the new version is compatible to the download normal. So we say, yeah. And then it starts downloading. Big magic. And then we can use, we can still use it, we can still use it. So we go back to here, you can see, downloading. It's taking a while. Okay, should we uh, fast forward? by movie magic. Wow, that was quick. All installed, so click on that. And there we go. And you've got Netflix working. You can do exactly the same to YouTube. I'm guessing you probably can do it to a whole load of other apps, which uh, we don't want. No, okay. push notifications. Log in, and away you go. So you can do it to YouTube, is the same. You can do it for probably lots of other things as well. So basically, Apple tell you kind of little fibs saying it's not compatible when in fact going through the little purchased section of the app store you'll be able to get online on all the these older versions of the app so yeah you do that and uh, ignore what Apple saying and I hope that helps and now I can uh, watch Netflix stuff in my kitchen and YouTube and whatever else hope that helps see you soon bye